What's going on, Team Perfect? This is Castle Perfect, and today I'm bringing you a Wi Fi battle versus my girl, Destructive Skitty. Uh, she's playing here on a different game. Normally, she has a different in game name, but I am facing her monotype team, which is gonna be Psychic. As you can see, her entire team is part Psychic, and uh, it is a hell of a bulky team that she's got. She's got that mega, like a Sam, that pretty speedy, stormy, the freaking bulky. Uh, you know, Metagross and Hard Hitter. Uh, she's got the bulky ass Cresselia, which almost never wants to die. The Gardevoir with the Will O' Wisp and stuff. And the Reuniclus with a lot of defense. So, quite frankly, her entire team is very, very defensive. So, I'm going to start off with Dr. Krabs because I want to knock off something. Because Dark Tap is obviously super effective against her entire team. So, I'm just gonna go for the knockoff here. She's gonna go for the Destiny Bond straight off the bat. And I was like, oh my god. First turn, we get a double KO, which is. <laughs> I don't get to experience that kind of thing so uh, so many times, you know, so often. Uh, so, it was kind of uh, special for me to see something like that happen. So, I was like, okay. Okay, I'm surprised. Well, anyways, uh, she's gonna bring out Starmie and I'm gonna bring out my Gardevoir and uh, I'm just going to go straight for the uh, Mega Evolution simply because I would need that buff on Special Defense uh, because she's gonna attack me with a Surf on the next turn and that is going to do quite a lot of damage considering the fact that Starmie, you know, she, you know, Starmie has a pretty decent special attack but even with life where I was expecting it to do less uh, but once again my Gardevoir is not training special defense I was like yeah it kinda makes sense in a way so I'm just gonna go for the Thunderbolt here deal super effective damage and bring her down uh, which is absolutely perfect the game is 5 to 4 at this point and she's gonna bring out the Cresselia which is gonna be shiny and this Pokemon is so beautiful it's shiny form oh my god I want one too so she's gonna, I'm gonna go for the Moan Blast here and she's gonna start setting up the Reflect and the light screens and all the screens and all the stuff and I'm like, oh my god, this is going to be so difficult uh, because as soon as she brings out the Metagross, that thing will be not taking shit from anybody. So I was like, I'm just going to continue to spam the Moon Blast here, hopefully get a critical hit or something before she sets up the light screen, but she was able to set up both screens. She's gonna switch here into Mega Robot, which is, oh, Mega Flubot actually, which is going to be her Metagross, and I predict that switch so nicely I was like she's got both screens up I am going to go for the willow is predicting the switch and it actually works out perfectly she's got a burn metagross and this thing cannot touch me at all I'm going to switch out here into flash the power and uh, flash is basically going to intimidate this thing not because uh, you know metagross has the clear body ability she's gonna go for the meteor match which actually kind of makes sense because that's super effective super effective against Gardevoir so yeah it makes sense in a way so she's gonna be burned here and that that play makes me so so happy like I was so happy at that moment because had I not burned this metagross it would have mean pretty much the end of me uh, I'm going to go for the choice bandit flare bliss because of the reflex she's gonna be able to live with like one HP she's gonna go for the agility at this point and we were talking on Skype and I asked her, I was like, why did you go for the agility? I mean, going for the Earthquake would have been a way better choice. He was like, nah, I thought you would predict the switch into a Lakasam. And then again, I was like, why would I even predict the switch into a Lakasam? And even if I, if you went for a Lakasam, Flare Blitz would have killed the Lakasam. So really, there was no explanation there. She was like, yeah, I just made a stupid play. So I was able to take down the Metagross, which is absolutely perfect because of the burn. Now she's gonna bring out the Reuniclus and that thing is going to go for the Calmine on the switch uh, and Cassidor is in on the field and I was like, yeah, you know, this is a pretty bad matchup but I'm going to go for the Dynamic Punch anyway uh, because I don't want to get that Confusion Hacks going on so I can bring out my Rhydon later on and pretty much, uh, you know, make sure, force this thing out with a Dragon Tail and I don't want this uh, plus one at special attack and plus one special defense really close, dancing around and dealing damage to my team. So, I allow Cassidor to go down here which is, you know, it's kind of, uh, you know, it makes sense because her entire team is built around the Psychic type so everything on her team is super effective against my champ so I really have no use for my champ at this point so I let my champ die and now I'm bringing out Rhydon and Rhydon is going to be able to survive a focus blast from a plus one special attack Reuniclus and that evil eyed man that evil eyed is so perfect it is so evil so I'm just gonna go for the dragon tail here uh, force the switch uh, get rid of that plus one special attack and plus one special defense on that Reuniclus. Now she's gonna bring out Red Domus, which is going to be her Alak Sam. She's gonna go for the Mega Evolution. Makes sense because every single team is supposed to have a Mega Evolution in this meta game. If not, then you're at a huge disadvantage. Uh, but whatever the case, uh, she gets the Trace ability going on. Traces my Rock Head ability, which she's not gonna have any use for. 
Um, she's gonna go straight for the psychic here, take down my red, and I'm like, that's perfect. That is that is absolutely perfect. I don't need to worry about that anymore. So I'm gonna bring out. Oh, actually, the light screen wears off, and I'm like, why did the reflect not wear off before? Oh, the reflect wore off, didn't it? I don't remember. So I'm just gonna go for the ice shard here. Uh, deal as much damage as I possibly can because, quite frankly, I should have gone for the earthquake. Really stupid on my part, but I was kind of expecting the focus blast to come in. You know, focus blast would have killed me in one shot, so I just went for the safe ice shard, and I am able to actually take a Saigi which she ended up going for and now I get another opportunity to get more damage off with an ice shard and that's exactly what I do I go for another ice shard she takes me down with a psychic and at this point I'm like yeah I can basically just you know bring out flash and go for extreme speed and take down this thing immediately so flash is gonna come in the power and I'm gonna get the intimidate going on and that is that is that's just great that's just great that's just great I'm just gonna go for the stream speed here, take down the Alakazam. She's got, I believe, the uh, Cresselia left, a Gardevoir left, if I'm not... No, the Gardevoir died on the first turn, right? Yeah, that, that's what happens. So she's got the uh, Swag Jelly, which is going to be her Rhyonicles. And this thing is gonna scare the living crap out of me, so I'm gonna switch out here, pretty much go into my most uh, expendable Pokemon, Mega Gardevoir, at this point. And she goes for the Focus Blast, and I'm thinking, wow, she don't have, it would have been a better play if you were... Uh, if you would have gone for the Psycho Shock, because it would have hit on my physical side, and uh, if you guys are familiar with God of War, God of War has amazing special defense, but her defense stat is a little bit, you know, on the lower side, so Psycho Shock would have made more sense, would have done more damage. Uh, but again, um, it, it's okay, it's okay. I'm able to, you know, get a Moon Blast off, and that's gonna be doing uh, sufficient damage to the point where it's gonna be uh, most likely a 2 hit KO. Uh, well, actually, no, it's gonna be a 3 hit KO because of the leftovers. But she's gonna switch. She is gonna switch, and I don't know why she switched out here. Once again, we were on a talk. We were talking through Skype when we were having this battle, and I asked her once again, why did you switch? Once again, she didn't have an explanation for it. <laughs> so, I don't know what's going on. I was able to take her down with a Moon Blast here, and she's gonna bring out the uh, Reuniclus, and I was like, okay, fine, I'm just gonna go for the Moon Blast here, uh, do as much damage as I possibly can, and I ended up getting max damage here, and I was able to take down the Reuniclus. So, that's gonna be a good game. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember to drop a like. Team Perfect for the win. I love you guys all, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.